Good morning guys, it's a early morning here, it's 6 a.m. and I'm in one of the wonders of the world which is Taj Mahal and located in Agra in a beautiful India in the north part of India and uh, we came here quite early to take some good pictures and I'm gonna show you the view before it gets too crowded and too crazy here check this beauty out here we go we have an amazing Taj Mahal just in front of us look at this architecture look at this all the designs and the beauty it's amazing and the Sun is rising from that side slowly is coming and we don't have too much people right now some people arrived and they are there but I'm sure it's gonna get more crazy during the afternoon time so We've been, uh, we had a little bit of a situation here, so I don't have my tripod with me. <laughs> I have my GoPro camera, but they took my tripod from me. They didn't allow me to take it just because it opens up. So it's not only selfie stick, but it's also a tripod at the same time. And now I'm just holding the camera with my raw hands. So, and I have my morning friend here. Yeah, hi guys. What's your name? Ajay. Ajay. Ajay is here. He, we are sharing the same room in the hostel and we decided to come here together. Some and Ajay time. is actually local. You are from New Delhi, right? Yeah. So he's from New Delhi and we are exploring and he's taking very good pictures of me while being in a... No, actually I'm charging uh, 500 per Oh, month. wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay. Maybe, maybe not so good anymore. <laughs> so let me show you a little bit of... Uh, close view to this amazing architecture you can see all the old Arabic letters around that and you can also see lots of uh, flowers flower designs right here which is from the precious stones around 28 different stones been used to build this beauty and we also have minaras on all sides i think we have four minaras yeah. and also a very interesting thing i don't know if you knew but these minaras are actually leaning towards outside as you can see the tower is not completely straight it's a little bit more leaning to the left side so the main purpose of this minaras to be leaning backwards or outside is that they are trying to protect the main part of the building so in case there was any earthquakes or any movements in the earth then this minaras wouldn't destroy the main building so that's why they are putting it more outside if anything happens it goes down to the other side not to the main building okay so we go to the sun sunrise part so As you guys can see yeah, this is the what we are looking at at the moment, guys. It's a guest house, which is next to the Taj Mahal. So we have the Taj Mahal here. On the left side, it's a mosque. And on the right side, we have a guest house. I'm not sure if we are allowed to go there. Or is it extra ticket as well? <laughs> they have closed that section. A uh, closed section? Yeah. So we have to pay or it's completely closed? It's completely closed. Yeah, you can see and click some pictures from outside, okay. but you can't go inside, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna just go check it out from the outside. Maybe we will have some view to the river as well. So yeah. let's see how it looks like. I'm not sure how the quality of this video gonna be. Not sure how the shaking of this video gonna be because without tripod, this is first time I'm recording without the tripod. So let's ask the gentleman if you are allowed to go there. Hello, brother. We can go there from the other from side. That side. Thank you, thank you. Very kind. Very kind. Wow, we have a incredible view to the other side. If you click from here now, then you will get a, this kind of shot. Yeah, but it's uh, too close, brother. Yeah. Maybe we can try from other side. As always, we are looking for our best Instagram spots, checking out what's possible, and. Still, not many people, like this area is actually completely empty, so there is nobody here right now. Wow, it's amazing, brother. If you want a picture, maybe this is the spot, like from this side all the way to there. 
Maybe let's check it out there first. I want to take the advantage of not having people here so we can explore as much as possible. And there are lots of flies here. Not sure if they are mosquitoes. What is this? Spider net? Yeah. Brother, you are caught. Oh, me too, maybe. <laughs> Seems like nobody been here for years. Wow, look at this. Look at this tom. Look at this minaras on the sides. It's amazing. So guys, I'm not sure if it's clear from the video. As you can see, Minara is not completely straight. It's leaning more to outside. And same with this one. I think it's not a big difference, not like a pizza tower in Italy, but something similar. So just uh, being here, reminds me of so much Uzbekistan. My Uzbekistan trip been incredible. I love the Central Asia in general, but being in Samarkand, being in Uzbekistan was a, such an incredible experience for me. That's something I will never forget. And seeing this beauty and also seeing the pictures, also reading a little bit about the history, it reminds me so much of Uzbekistan just because of the architecture. So all the uh, entrances to the buildings and the way they build all the minaras on the sides and also the uh, architecture itself similar very very similar to to Uzbek uh, uh, all the buildings I have seen in Uzbekistan especially in Samarkand for example uh, Amir Taymur's uh, place where he sleeps right now and also uh, Rajasthan where is the old uh, madrasas? Uh, madrasas means uh, that's where people were getting education, so more like a university. So we're gonna get a little bit more close to look to this beauty here. So maybe it will be more interesting for you to see it. It's amazing. And this is the guest house we have behind us. As you can see, still nobody, just only my friend. And very interesting thing, this is actually one of the great examples of uh, Mukla, Mukla designs. Mukla designs means uh, it's a combination of uh, Islamic architecture, uh, Indian architecture and Persian architecture. So three architecture uh, combined together to make this beautiful design. So, and the main reason is that this beautiful place been built 400 years ago and the rulers who built this place were coming actually from the Central Asia. So that's the main reason why this building looks like so much what I have seen in Uzbekistan in Samarkand as well. Uh, so the people who were ruling here that times were coming from the Central Asian uh, area. So they were basically Turks. It's brother, it's beautiful, right? Yeah. You See, love if it? You, uh, start clicking pictures from that side. Okay, you brother. Pink shade is coming. Okay, let's yeah. do it. I actually sunrise is also about to start. Yeah. It's six fourteen. So right now it's six fourteen, and still we have nobody here arrived. All the people are taking pictures there, but we already done the job there, <laughs> which was uh, which was I think we got before early six actually, right? I yeah. think they let us in almost like. Uh, five, yeah, five forty, forty, forty-five. We were already there, so we started taking pictures. It was even dark when we entered to the Taj Mahal. So if you are planning to come, that's the best time you can come to enjoy this beautiful place. And then we have the amazing sunrises coming on a distance behind the guest house. This is the guest house they call, and the other side on behind the behind the Taj Mahal is is the mosque yeah you will notice some golden color yes 
So also I read this place and the tomb especially of the Taj Mahal can change the colors. So in the morning when the sun rises there it looks more pinkish and during the night when there is a moon uh, moonlight on it it can look more golden and during the day it's uh, also different color. I think it's more shining like a diamond. <laughs> I'll tell you one, one thing here. Tell me brother. Uh, there are rumors but uh, nobody knows about the truth. Uh, the story the story is actually uh, uh, Shah Jahan, the ruler who built this. So he planned to uh, build a black Taj Mahal as well. Yep. So white Taj Mahal here and black Taj Mahal there. Uh -huh. On the other side of yeah. the river. So he planned to do this but... Uh, but it never happened. Yeah, we don't know about the story yeah. but uh, people say like he, he wanted to make a black Taj Mahal also. Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah. Also, what I learned and read is that uh, there are 22,000 people who are working to build this Taj Mahal and also 1,000 elephants been used to build this crazy place because lots of stones had to be taken from different places uh, all the way from Turkey, all the way from Iraq, Afghanistan area um, all these stones had to come from somewhere because, you know Look at this beauty, like all white and as well as there are lots of uh, different stones being used. As I mentioned in the beginning, there are 28 different stones being used to build this amazing and incredible building. And the ruler, the Shah Jahan, who decided to build this, actually built it for his beloved wife. Uh, it was his third wife and the third wife actually died while um, she was giving a birth to the couple's 14th child so while she was giving a birth to the 14th child of the couple uh, she died and um, as you can imagine the king the ruler was sad and uh, wanted to build something amazing for basically for his wife so what you are looking at here the building is actually Mausoleum. <clears throat> mausoleum, what mausoleum means? Mausoleum is basically there is a grave on the ground and uh, anything built above it is called mausoleum. So mausoleums can be something looking like this, it can be with the tombs or it can look <clears throat> basically just normal with the columns, simple, simple mausoleums as well as uh, existing in all over the world. But this one is something very exceptional and uh, yeah, it's a uh, part of the history now and standing for the 400 years How crazy is that your wife dies and then you start building this place and this place is actually built for around 20 to 25 years and during this 25 years a very sad thing happened so the ruler um, Shah Jahan who was the ruler who decided to build this place for his wife he actually didn't happen to see the final version of the Taj Mahal because when he was uh, when this place finished he was already died and he was actually been taken over by his one of his sons uh, as, a, as a ruler so very very sad thing as well about the history of this amazing building brother you are ready for pictures His son, um, I forget his name. Actually. Yeah, his son took over his kingdom, uh, no? Yeah, and uh, he put him put him in jail because he was thinking like his father is wasting all the money <laughs> yeah, on Taj Mahal. And uh, when he uh, heard about the black Taj Mahal, so he thought his father will uh, like waste the money. Then he put him in jail, and you can see the Agra fort from here. So ah. there was a jail. Yes. Okay. Uh, he put him uh, there so he can watch the Taj Mahal from the jail. Yes. Okay, because his last yeah, yeah. was to. Yes, see the exactly. Taj Mahal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's a good reminder. So <laughs> there is a Agra Fort which is not in too far. It's around one kilometer away. You can see in a distance, which is a red fort, 
and yeah as he, he mentioned basically his last wish while he was being uh, kept in the jail he wanted to see the Taj. Taj Mahal from his window so wherever he was staying in the jail he wanted to see the have a view to the Taj Mahal so that was the only last wish he had and I was also mentioning that it was sad to he didn't see the final version yeah. of the Taj Mahal before he died so incredible so are you whenever you are ready for pictures i'm we can click from here okay if you sit here i will try to take a shot from this side okay so i will finish this uh, clip for now and then guys we're gonna connect with you in few minutes after we have some nice nice pictures from here so i'm gonna give you another tour from this side and then probably we'll be on the other side probably in the mosque see you later So we just arrived to the mosque part of the Taj Mahal and my friend had a very interesting story about during the Indian war what happened here what what they did exactly they to actually covered it with the, bamboos as a mosquito oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah actually they covered it uh, with bamboos okay they wanted to save the Taj Mahal because it was like the one of the most important location in India and uh, so yeah they are covered it because uh, so uh, what we say um, i'm not getting the word like to save from fighter jets yeah yeah you know uh, so from the air strikes yeah. uh, so during the war there was air strike air strikes were happening so what they did to protect the building and uh, make it uh, look like for other people more like a bombay a bombay uh, kind of uh, like a bush a bamboo, maybe yeah, yeah bamboo, bamboo bush, jungle, jungle so, bush whatever yeah so, so people wouldn't attack, attack here attack on Taj Mahal. nice very interesting yeah i mean uh, it happened during 1961 and i guess in 1971 too so in two times actually yeah, yeah. they did this thing interesting and if you guys google it you will found it those pictures how they covered it uh, with bamboos interesting uh, yeah how they saved it so when I'm home, I'm gonna check Google to see those pictures. Wow, what was it? It was a bird or it was a people? No, no, no. some people whistle. Ah, whistling. <laughs> so do you wanna visit the mosque? We can have a look inside. Yeah. Yeah. So the reason, guys, we didn't go inside the guest house. It's actually completely closed. I don't know if a uh, reconstruction is going on or it's just uh, I don't know what's the main reason for it. But we were not able to go but we are able to go to inside the mosque so what we can do we can go check it out i'm gonna show you the my view it's amazing all the colors and similar designs and the designs of the flowers as well they're just incredible and also very interesting thing i learned uh, of course we're gonna go inside taj mahal i'm gonna tell you more about it uh, very interesting thing so you can see lots of lots of flowers on the walls but those flowers and the designs are actually uh, they don't look like happy flowers so they are not actually blooming they are actually more sad they are kind of dying and that way architectures and architects want to show that those flowers are sad because someone died in this case is the wife of the Shah Jahan and also Shah Jahan's him himself, his uh, grave is also here uh, under this mausoleum. Incredible story. Okay. Now you will see the white side of Taj Mahal, and if you go that side now, you will see the uh, golden side of Taj Mahal. Golden, because yeah. of the sun, sun, sunrise. Yeah. Amazing. Uh, we have to remove. Oh, to... here you are. How are you? You want to? You want to be on YouTube video? I can. Yes. Where I... are you from? From South Africa. South Africa. Yeah, let me wow. take the glasses off. Yes. Because it, you it don't, ruins the you photo. <laughs> Every time I take his picture here, he was like, "No, I want to take my sunglasses off. I don't look good. <laughs> you look good, man. Thank you." Yeah. Have a good day. Yeah. You so how you how you enjoy it? It's amazing, no? I have taken tens of thousands <laughs> of photos in Europe, in America. But this is amazing. Is this your That's first wonder of the world or you've been somewhere else? Um, no, I've been over the globe, so yeah? I've seen most. Yeah, I've, I've been a privileged traveler. Oh, nice. That's yeah. cool. nice. So I've done Have the whole of Africa, I've done the whole of America. Wow. That's nice. Wow, south. that's amazing. It's just um, South America. Oh. And Antarctica. But I've been up to the Northern Lights. Okay. And oh the top my of Canada. God. So 
Nice. Yeah. You should join him. So you know how many that. how many countries you've been to? Um, I've lost count. It's over a hundred. Over hundred. I've been to over a hundred cities. Over cities. Okay. Yeah. So fifty plus yeah. countries. Yeah. Wow. Uh, so have you been to Petra to Jordan? No. I ah, you have but to. But I have been to this, Egypt. Yes. And I've been to uh, the pyramids. Ah, uh, to pyramids. But okay. I only had two days. Okay. So I have to go back to Petra. Okay. So, Interesting. This uh, is amazing. This is uh, beautiful, uh, incredible, it's, but. It's, but Petra is just a different, different is story. It? It's uh, yeah, but it's in the in the mountain. Yeah, it's in the mountain. It's in the, actually in the um, canyon. Yes, it's inside the canyon, yeah. and there are so much beautiful carvings on yeah. the wall, and it's much, much older than this. Yeah. This is only 400 years old. Yeah. Uh, still Petra's impressive, still amazing. Yeah. But Petra is just different, different story. So if yeah. you have a chance, I, I, it is on my to do. Yeah, this. go go to I, Jordan for sure. You will love it. Because I was very disappointed. <laughs> I had two days, and in and out of um, yeah. Cairo. But yeah. Okay. Come on, take me to Petra. Okay? <laughs> you need more days. <laughs> nice. We're gonna go explore the mosque as well. Enjoy. See you. Nice to meet you, brother. Yes. Yeah, we need to remove our shoes. So we need to remove our shoes to go inside the mosque and. We're gonna have a little bit closer look to this uh, view. Wow, there's also a nice shot maybe this way to take a pictures. Right now is a sunset. I think that's something we should do, brother. <laughs> look at this, like there's a sun is yeah. It's like hiding behind the Taj Mahal and we can take pictures from, from the mosque all the way there. And this beautiful people taking advantage oh, of it. Huh? On Friday. On Friday? Yeah, Namaz. Yes, so on Fridays Taj Mahal is completely closed and it's only in use for the mosque purposes. So people come here to still use this mosque to pray and uh, do their worships. People taking pictures and then here we are inside beautiful mosque. looks incredible and also this part is showing you what direction people needs to pray so this is pointing you out directly to Mecca to the black stone it's beautiful so if this is so beautiful imagine inside inside the Taj Mahal Okay, we are slowly leaving from the mosque and again Taj Mahal appears in front of us. So beautiful. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, brother, another time for good pictures? Yeah. Let's do some photo clicks. Maybe from that side all the way to the Taj Mahal. See you guys in a bit. Uh, I think we're gonna have another clip somewhere in Taj Mahal. Possibly, if we can get inside, that's what we're gonna do as well. Show you inside. See you later. This is amazing. So right now we are in the. Taj Mahal itself and we are looking over to the mosque it's amazing so we can take a little bit closer look to the beautiful Taj Mahal all the designs all the colors and the stones being used in this incredible place so if you take a little bit more we can see all these different types of stones being used to build this place all different colors I will remind you again there are 28 different stones being used to build this incredible place and the flowers I was talking about this is the designs which is representing the sad flowers and each part of the flower is also different stones You have quite a bit of uh, space here. 
I think there's no real purpose for it but we have the minaras on four different sides one here we have a beautiful view to the mosque from above maybe that's something we can check out we have a little fountain right there just beautiful and then then we get to the side of the Taj Mahal wow it reminds me of so much so much Uzbekistan and to be honest with you guys I do really miss Uzbekistan in the last few weeks I've been thinking about it and maybe at some point I might go back it's uh, it's amazing like you can see this is what we are talking about as well these are the old very old Arabic uh, language, Arabic letters on the sides and I will show you also the beautiful carvings which is which is shaped as a flowers check this out and then all the stones as well all the colors these are the flowers i was talking about as you can see every piece of the flower is actually different stone different color and most impressive is probably these carvings which is shaped as a flowers lots of actually flower shapes are on these walls just incredible just incredible i have no words it's amazing and then uh, i think this is the behind of the taj mahal we will not go there i would like to show you actually inside so here's the anaza minara and then sunset is popping up from other side and we have the guest house still standing right there i'm not sure if we can enter from here we might just try if it's a possibility a little too much sun I think on the camera no entry, it says no entry so we should go from the other side still you can enjoy the view to the mosque until we get to the inside brother you want to go inside? there is no entry from this side so we should go other way It's amazing <coughs> and also very well kept it's uh, of course UNESCO heritage but uh, 400 years this place have seen earthquakes have seen wars and everything but still standing amazingly maybe my lenses are a little bit dirty gonna clean it I should be better now and also I'm gonna show you the crowd which is very different than morning look at this all these colors of shirts and and clothes a little windy here as you can see it's quite crowded now and I think it will get even more crazy because uh, from 4 million to 8 million people who visit this place Okay, a little bit windy, we should run to inside. Brother, I go in. So, let's go inside, check it out. Photography is prohibited inside the main mausoleum. But this is videography, so it's okay. Bro, bro, mask. But nobody's doing mask. It's okay, bro. Archaeological Survey of India So we are entering to the mausoleum Beautiful, hello brother
go out from the west gate now there are some restaurants Beautiful. Uh, part of uh, when we were inside the mausoleum, it was not allowed to record. Uh, we captured some parts. I will share it with you, of course. I think you already seen it. And we are finishing our tour here in this beautiful Taj Mahal, in one of the wonders of the world, and uh, slowly going to eat something. Yeah. We are very hungry. It's early morning. We've been up since 5 a.m. and right now it's 7:20. So one two hours is kind of enough to uh, cover the Taj Mahal and. Your ticket is actually valid only for three hours. So once you enter, oh, you have only three hours to um, discover the area and then get out because there are lots of people coming and going. So probably they won't, they're trying to manage the number of people here. You cannot bring food. You cannot bring. Uh, you can drink. Uh, you can bring your drinks, but you cannot bring food, and you cannot bring your bag. If you do, you have to keep it somewhere. And uh, you cannot bring tripod. That's the most important thing I learned as well. So I had a big tripod, which was not allowed to go inside. And fall experience costed me 16 American dollars. And in 16 American dollars, you can go inside the mausoleum, which is a separate ticket. And uh, we actually, my friend bought it from outside, but I had it already included in my ticket. So for 16 dollars, you can come explore for three hours this beautiful Taj Mahal. Now I'm gonna say slowly goodbye to you from and finish up this video. Brother, thank you so much for coming and being part of the video. Thank you. <laughs> okay, lovely guys. See you and take care of yourself. Signing out from beautiful Taj Mahal in India in a city called Agra. See you and bye bye.